Tomorrow looks to be a big day for Halo Infinite news as it might just be the last Inside Infinite update. Why is that and what is this update going to be about? Well stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So yes, you heard me right. This might just be the last Halo Infinite update they would get for the year. That's mainly because we have E3 coming up very, very soon, actually. And things are totally going to change when it comes to news and information for Halo Infinite. So in this video, we're going to talk about what to expect for this next Inside Infinite update and Halo Infinite news updates moving on forward for the rest of the year. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release, of Halo Infinite, so make sure to tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So the last Thursday of every month of 2021, we've been getting these Halo Infinite development updates. And guess what? The last Thursday is coming up, well, tomorrow for Halo Infinite's uh, new development update to go up live. This next development update is going to be covering everything about Halo Waypoint as it's part of the website that correlates along with Halo, obviously. Now, I'm sure a lot of people go, oh, boring, I don't go to the website, why does it matter? Well, the website is a great spot where you check your stats, and possibly it sounds like maybe, maybe your customization might be a factor with Halo Waypoint now, uh, your community interaction, where you go to download maps and game modes as well. And it's where all your official news and information gets posted on that website. So even though it's not directly tied in with the game, it does affect the game because it will have features of like quality of life improvements that will help your experience while playing Halo Infinite. And from what it sounds like from the last development update, we're gonna have an app that goes along with the game as well. Now, the reason why this might just be the last development update is because of what the community manager, Unishack, mentioned on Twitter here. And he's talk, replied to a tweet saying, question, will there be an Inside Infinite this is for this month? As there was no Inside Infinite for this month because they said that the next development update is gonna be focusing on the Waypoint team. And currently the game team is just heads down working to make sure everything's prepared for E3 and larger things are gonna be happening for the second half of the year. Another user replies, will you be sharing plans for a monthly Infinite blogs for E3? Or is this going to be the last month of them? Unishack replies saying, To be determined at the moment, I'm sure we'll have plenty of writing to do this summer. It's the summer before launch. If there's more important stuff, then we'll likely need to focus on that. If we can support it, we'd love to keep him going. It all just comes down to available time. So me personally, I did kind of expect to see this happen as just pretty much the first half of this year was gonna be kind of a lull and just kind of like not a whole lot being presented about Halo Infinite while there's gonna be a lot of people out there going, hey, why is the game delayed? Is there been any improvements? What's going on with it? So I applaud 343 for doing these monthly updates. They've really helped me out, especially with, with content when it comes to just talking about this game and also providing the community with a lot of really great information and really great insight. We've actually learned quite a bit about Halo Infinite over the course of the last five months or so, but there still is a lot more to be known. So what's this next update, what we're gonna be talking about is the Waypoint team and what they're gonna be bringing to the table. And it sounds rather interesting. They actually touched on this a little bit in the last development update for April, and they said this. The Waypoint team has been hard at work on the next generation of Halo's applications and website coming soon. This is the complete rebuild of our tech stack to deliver a richer experience for you and an improved tool set for the studio. Halo Waypoint will now be available as a native iOS and Android app. In addition to the website, replacing the existing Halo Channel app, most recently the team has been focused on Halo Infinite features such as customization and progression, and navigating the challenges associated with translating those features to web and pocket-sized devices. We plan to share much more in the future, so I'll leave with this parting wisdom. Prepare your hardware accelerators. It Two interesting points to bring up about involving Halo Waypoint is customization and progression. So the progression is be very interesting. I'm assuming that we'll have a battle pass as they did mention seasons within the previous development updates and also customization. We, you know, we know a little bit about, but we still could learn a lot more about customization, especially when it comes to the coding system. Well, how the armor customization is going to work in the game. They said it's going to be like Reach, but how much is it going to try to emulate it or is it going to try to build upon what Reach offered for us? 
It's a very interesting thing that comes with customization that was actually shown in the December update that I don't think a lot of people touched on is the different types of armor sets that we'll be able to have in Halo Infinite. I'm sure you guys all recognize this shot right here, but just take note of the armor and stuff like that and the legs, and especially the leg design on the armor right here as well. To kind of scroll through here, very similar. Very similar there as well, just a different kind of coating to the Spartan right here. Again, a very similar armor style as well, nothing too crazy here. But check out this one. This is a much more classic old school looking. Like the legs look totally different. The cod piece looks different. The chest piece looks different as well. Like even the arms look very different as well. So why is that? It hasn't really been explained where all these Spartans are essentially using the same type of armor for just kind of, but then obviously modifying with different like shoulder pieces and different uh, coatings and things like that. But this armor is something completely different. Do we get a reveal of some customization options that we'll have in Halo Infinite? Because they talk about customization within Halo Waypoint in the re most recent development update. So we could possibly get some information about that. And they did mention progression how, to track how far you're progressing, probably through a battle pass, as they did mention seasons previously. But I'm sure there will probably will be an overall rank as well. Maybe they might do like the Call of Duty Warzone style, where basically you have your in-season rank where you kind of your XP will just continually going up, but then you also have your battle pass you work through as well for more content. I think that would be a kind of an interesting system, or if you're gonna have like an overarching XP system, that'd be kind of interesting as well. A good way to keep back of your progression there. I would hope to see some integration with Forge or mention Forge in some way with new custom maps and game modes and how you could download that. Cause that was my main purpose I used Waypoint for was to browse for new game modes to download. I mean, think this scenario right you've been playing with your friends in custom games you go like oh dude there's this one custom game i think of that's like oh whatever name it is do you have it oh sorry i don't oh hey just pull it up on the waypoint app download it right there onto your game and then boom you're playing you don't have to jump onto your computer to go find some search mode that you don't know what's there where just pull the app up on your phone you're downloading you're playing the game right then and there Quality of life improvement right there. Huge improvement, actually. So we could possibly get some Forge information, some more information about how the, the format of the website will work. Maybe tracking your stats, tracking your customization, and tracking your progression as well. So we get some good information about that. We probably get might even get some more details about the challenge system that's going to be part of the game. If you don't know, there are going to be challenge swaps within Halo Infinite, meaning that there is going to be a challenge system coming back. And depending how that challenge system works out, I'm sure that has some form of progression with it as well, correct? So we might see some information on that as well. So even though it's about Halo Waypoint, it's a website that's not tied with the game that does have information tied possibly with Halo Infinite itself. So definitely worth taking note of when this development update goes live. When it does go live, I guarantee I'll be making videos on this channel and you guys know all the, the details, everything you need to know about that development update. We'll open up with like a big, like everything you need to know video, and then we'll break it down to more detailed kind of discussion stuff that we normally do with these development updates on the channel. So if you want to stay updated with everything with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel, guys. If you missed any content for me or been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.